Wait now. Wait, can I talk? Let me finish. Wait, babe. Look, I get it. I hear you. Nadia disappointed you. But you can't expect me to take sides. We're all friends. Besides, I don't know the full story. You can't expect me to judge. You're around. Cool, then drive in. Yeah, we'll talk about it. My blood is always hot. Hello. I know everyone thinks that it's hard to be who I am. But for me. Do you want this your dieting? There you go. You know, I go see. Correct the goose with pande nyam. <laughs> now they try look easy. <laughs> they tell you. <sighs> Some of us are not that lucky. Peggy. So, how did you hear about my issue with Kemi? The walls have ears, but how I heard is not important. What the person told me is that you're giving Kemi a hard time, and that's not fair. I am giving her a hard time because she is a gold digger. Gold digger? How? Kemi's not a gold digger. I mean, she's one of the sweetest persons I know. Was it not through me you, you met Kemi? Well, yes. And that is because she was my brother's girlfriend, then fiancé. Exactly. Well, my brother has been paying Kemi to be his fiance. What? See your face yeah. right now was my exact reaction when I first heard it. Huh. So there's this babe that my brother really, really wanted to get married to. <laughs> but my family, they were against it because of some issue with the girl's family, mm -hmm. right? And then when my parents started to pressurize my brother to get married, he hired Kemi to be his fiancé for one year. And, like, like I, I didn't even know anything about this. Like, can you imagine? Kemi was supposed to be my best friend. Why would she do something like that behind my back? Why would she do such a thing? So, wait, oh, your brother broke up with her when he met his wife, the mm -hmm. person he's married to mm -hmm. right now. Make it make sense. I don't get it. So, this type of thing truly happens. I can't believe this. I swear, I, I had no idea until Kemi. Like, how was she even able to fool all of us? When she came to me, and told me that she 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 wanted to say yes to my brother mm. that he had been asking her out for a while like i was very very happy because i felt like my friend honored me by by telling me mm. did i even know that this was their plan all along but your brother too your brother that your brother <laughs> I remember his face. I, I remember that picture of him telling us, oh, he wanted the engagement to be special, how he wanted to surprise her and everything. So you mean that whole engagement and all the stress he put us through was just fake? All fake. All fake. Like, I am not even in talking terms with him right now. Now I see why you've been giving her a hard time and... 
Why are you insisting I don't go into business with her? I felt like a fool. <laughs> she has been calling me to explain things, but I'm like, explain what? You lie to my face every day for one whole year and, and you're calling me to explain things now because I found out and called you after my brother said something. Yeah. Like, Bianca, is that the kind of person you want to do business with? Well, I mean, she's our friend. We need to hear her out. Yeah. What would she possibly have been going through that would have made her agree to such an arrangement? I don't care. Like, I, I don't care if she was broke or, or whatever situation she was in. Like, she should have told me. Yeah, I've told you, just don't go into business with her again, that's all. I don't think I need to uh, speak with Leo till next week. So, um, just remind me to call him on Tuesday next week, say uh, 12 noon, okay? Okay, sir. And uh, my clothes, the things uh, I took to the laundry, I think they're ready. So please go to the laundry and pick them up. What I want to wear tomorrow is still at the laundry. Okay, sir. When we get to the office, please, I'm so famished. Just make sure you get my lunch, okay? All right, sir. And uh, Elliot, remind me to call Elliot, okay? Okay, sir. Come in. Hey, Harmony. Hi. Uh, come on, uh, have a seat. Thank you. How are you? I'm hanging in there. I understand. What about your mother? My mom is... She's trying hard not to slip into depression. I know. I know. Look, I'm so sorry for everything, your father. I'm just so glad that he's uh, finally showing signs of recovery. Well, I pray it continues. Amen. It will. So, uh, Oh, so, um, I came here to officially show interest in everything that's going on in the company. It's about time. <laughs> yeah. You know, I really don't know anything about this business. How many? You don't have to worry. I promise your mom and dad I was going to guide you. Okay, so what are the options for me? Your father's uh, chair as CEO is vacant. If you want it, you can take it. You don't want it? No, I don't. Oh, no, no, no. I love my hustle as MD. The day-to-day -day hustle of my work is uh, fantastic. Thanks. Always so modest. Oh, well, if you say that, um, thank you. Okay, because I mean, my mom thinks that without you, this company will be non-existent. So, <laughs> are you sure? Well, um, given the fact that I own 50% share in the company, and uh, I uh, also make a lot of money as the MD, so that's a lot of motivation for me to work hard. <laughs> thank you, if you say so. <laughs> okay. Why do you have that look on your face? Why are you not married? All right. Now you're <laughs> sounding like my mother. Oh, okay. No, no, no. You sound like my mother. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's, okay. it's okay. I got carried away. I'm sorry. I asked that. No, no, it's okay. It's fine. Um, so um, I think um, you should start by working with each and every department in the, the company so that you can understand the business better and how am i going to go about that you came just at the right time i'm about to attend uh, a meeting with heads of departments so yeah you can just join me tag along see how we do it and uh yeah it's gonna be a good start all right awesome so 
First of all, uh, what am I going to offer you? No, 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 no. Let's just. No, you have to take No, let's just have the meeting. That's. Hi, Bianca. Hi, Ashley. Where's your guy? Oh, he should be on his way. He asked me to pick something from his room. Go and get it. Okay. exactly what I'm saying. The pressure is the problem. Look, I understand where everyone is coming from, but we just need to be patient. Yes, mommy. Okay. Mommy, please hold on. I've heard everything you have to say, mommy. I will talk to him. I'll pay him a visit and I'll ask him to pick your calls. Yes. Please tell daddy to relax. He should calm down. Okay. All right, mommy. I love you. Take care of yourself. Love you. Miss you. Bye. Why are you putting me in the middle of all of this now? You can simply stop picking the calls. I should just cut off from my parents. Like, I should stop talking to my mommy and my daddy because my elder brother has refused to get married. Nobody is refusing to get married. All I'm saying is that I am not ready yet. That's all. So when are you going to be ready? Bianca, nobody has the right to ask me that question. You know, you need to move on. This girl is gone. Don't okay? ever say that to me again. Welcome, sir. Thank you. I've picked it up already. Thank you. Wait, is it me or is that the same dress you wore earlier today? Oh, no, sir. Uh, I badly stained the clothes I had on before during lunch, so I stepped by my house on my way here to change this. Okay. That looks good. Thank you, sir. Mm. Bianca. Yeah. See you, sir. All right. Bye. Bye. Hello, sir. Okay, okay. Right away, sir. Thank you. The perfume is nice. Oh, thank you, sir. You're welcome. Are you done drafting the letter I asked you to draft? No, I haven't, but that's what I was doing before you called for the folder. So I could just... Um... Get it done quickly and send it to me, okay? Okay, sir. Um... Sir, you are due for the meeting with the board of directors in less than 15 minutes. I know, I know. I'll be out shortly. Okay, sir. Sir, please don't forget to call Mr. George. Yeah, I'll call him on way out. Um, is Ashley back? No, she's not. But I could give her a call, tell her not to come back to the office. Maybe just meet you up at the meeting. No, no, no. It's okay. Tell her to go home. 
Okay. Don't go and have some time to yourself. Okay, sir. And you too, when you're done with the letter, just uh, go home. You guys go and have a life, okay? Thank you, sir. All right, have fun. Have a good evening. Thank you, sir. Hello, babe. How are you now? <laughs> I'm fine, no. I'm at home, sir, Jerry. Just came back from work not quite long. I'm even going myself to go and buy a can of fly, fly planting. That's what I want to have for dinner. Leave me, I know I like food. <laughs> How are you now? Babe, hold, I think uh, a call is coming in. It's my boss, I'll call you back, please. Okay. Hello, sir. Good evening. Uh, am, I, am I disturbing anything? No, no, nothing, sir. No, nothing really. Where are you? Uh, sir, I'm at a dinner date. Oh, I'm 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 am sorry. I'm I'm so sorry. I'm calling you at this time. <laughs> no problem, sir. I just took out of the restaurant, so it's fine. What do you need, sir? Okay, quick one. I I need to know where the document that uh, Elliot brought, uh, where you put it. Uh, I need to attend to it right now. Otherwise, we're gonna have issues. <sighs> sir, I kept it in. Um... You know what, sir? I'm coming. I'm coming out, sir. I'm coming. No, no, no. Just just show me where you put it. I'll find it. Just tell me which one of the drawers or where you put it. I'll just I'll just get it. Sir, I'll be with you later for five minutes. All right, fine. Um, I'm I'm sorry again. I never thought it would be you. You're all I've been searching for. I see me inside your eyes. I see it in your smile. You're all I've wanted. Oh my god. Ashley. <laughs> it's fine, sir. You mean you left a man at the restaurant because of me? Sir, it's not the problem. Oh, what kind of boss am I? <laughs> a good one, sir. Trust me. Oh, come on. You look um, beautiful. Yeah, that man must be a lucky man. <laughs> Thank you, sir. So let me go and get the documents. Oh, yeah, sure. Excuse me. Oh. <laughs> Come in. Hey, big brother. What do you want? That's a wonderful thing to say to your darling sister and family. Your family member wants to give you my ring. I said, what do you want? I come here, please. And in fact, I brought bright ideas and solutions. But first, you need to tell me how long will it take? To do what? To find a wife. What about forever? Forever? Yes. Daddy doesn't have forever. That's the point. No one has the right to tell another person when to get married. That's personal. No. Well, you know your family, okay? You know your parents, they're traditional. Besides, you're their only son. Why don't they choose your husband? Shouldn't you be son of the family right now? Why don't you just choose your husband? I need to be left alone. Can you just leave me go? Come in! Uh, Hi, Bianca. Thank you. <laughs> so I've sent it already, so here's the receipt. Alright, thank you. Uh, how long is it going to take for me to receive it? Two days, sir. Come in. Hello, Bianca. Uh, hi, Lillian. Hi. Mm, what's that perfume? It smells so good and you look amazing. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Excuse uh, me, sir. Okay, yeah. Thank you. 
<laughs> so, yeah, meeting is in 30 minutes. Should I send everyone the agenda for the yeah, meeting? Yeah, should do that. Okay. All right. Thank you, Lydia. Bye. Wow. Wow, what? Personal assistant and secretary are beautiful women. Uh, so. So. Don't, 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 don't even say that. I love the relationship I have with everybody in this office. I'm not going to come here. Just pick one. What for what? Can you just leave my office? Can we just go? Please. What exactly do you want? I just need you to go. Okay, mm -hmm. fine. That's all I want. Fine. Your younger sister came to see you in the office and you're asking her to go home. My oh, younger sister okay. is living right in my house because her husband is in the UK. So can you go? I will be home shortly. Please. Thank you. I love you. I'll see you at home. I'll meet you at home. <laughs> Oh, how many? Hi. What happened? What? Dad, my dad. What, what happened? Relapsed. Oh my God. He's gone back into coma. It's okay. I'm okay. Come here. Come here. Kemi, come on. There's a story I don't want to get into. If Helen wants, she can go all over the place spoiling my name. She's free to do so, actually. But I'm not going to call her asking her to hear me out. But we're friends. You, can, you know you can talk to me. I mean, more than friends, we're about to be business partners. Don't I deserve to know the truth? I'm not saying that you don't deserve it. Then talk to me. I needed money. My mother needed surgery. I was looking for money from everywhere. And so one day I went to see Helen and her brother David was there. And they were talking about how the family didn't want him to marry the girl he wanted to marry. Okay. Helen was there? Well, yeah, she was there, but she later left, and when she did, he turned to me and asked why I looked so sad. I told him it was because I needed a loan or a business that would give me a huge sum of money. And then he gave me a loan. Wow, he did that? Well, yeah, and um, I, I told Helen about it, and she was okay with it. But when it was time to pay back, I couldn't. I gave David five different dates, all of which I couldn't meet up with it. But he was very patient with me and still gave me time. And also, because of my closeness with Helen, I knew the pressure that David was going through. I also knew that he loved his girlfriend so much. And so one day while I was there, he mentioned to me that all the family needed was to see that he was engaged to somebody. They didn't necessarily want to see him married immediately. They just wanted to see him engaged to somebody other than his girlfriend. Mm. Yeah. So he asked you to be his fake fiance because he borrowed you money? Uh, not really. When I went home, I thought about it. And then I called him and suggested I could be his fake fiance. You did that? And he agreed? Well, at first he was hesitant. He was actually very worried about how Helen was going to take it. He didn't want her to know, and so I promised him that I wasn't going to tell a soul. We also agreed on boundaries. No kissing privately and no sleeping together. So, you mean you only kissed when we were there? Well, we had to make everybody believe it. Yeah. How about his girlfriend? What well, did she think about it? Well, she was completely on board. She knew about everything. <laughs> Months after, she cheated on him. Okay. And so he broke up with her and then eventually married this girl that he's with. 
why didn't he ask you to date him why didn't he marry you instead that's the thing we didn't have that kind of connection and also i wasn't ready for that kind of relationship so do you have any regrets no i don't i just hate the fact that i lied to everybody um but on the bright side my mom is better because of david and so i'm glad that i helped him out as well why didn't you talk to me about your mom why didn't you tell me about her illness come on bianca you've done so much for me it's just embarrassing to keep coming back to you but i'm not complaining i know it's just <sighs> well Helen needs to know this. She needs to hear your side of the story. Oh no, I'm no longer calling her. I don't want to call Helen again. Don't worry, I'll call her. Okay. Let's have something to eat. <laughs> Hello, sir. Lillian, what do you want? You want me to sign a contract, right? Yes, sir. Then I have to scan it and then send them their copy before the close of work today. Yeah, but right now I can't come to the office, so you have to meet me wherever I am. Okay, sir. Um, Ashley, is there any very nice restaurant around here? Yes, sir. There is, yes, sir. Okay. Uh, Lillian, Ashley will send you an address, right? So you just come there as soon as you can, okay? Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Hi, sir. Ashley, when are you going to Harmony's house? Um, the moment you set it, sir. Okay, cool. You don't have to come back to meet me, okay? You just go to my house and I'll meet you there. Okay, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Come on, sit down. Sit down. Thank you. Um, I uh, took the liberty to order this special for you. Really? Yeah. Have you eaten something? No, I haven't. Good. Eat before you leave. Thank you, sir. Now let me have the document. So all them take a look at the clauses I told them to check? Yes, he did. Hmm. This looks good. Okay, sir. Yeah. Well, I think we're good. So, um, what of your sisters? How are they? They're fine. Thank you, you're fine. And the one who came here on her birthday? Yes, she's, she's fine. I know she was quite loud that day, so... <laughs> and memorable, that's why I remember her. She took all the attention from you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's the crazy one, but she's quite sweet. Mm. Crazy and sweet, that's a good combination. You're a great big sister, you know that? Thank you. <coughs> yeah, don't choke on your food. No, I won't. Thank you. This is nice. I'm glad you like it. Ashley? 
Um, come help me prepare the table for your boss. Okay. But don't you think you should come home first? He's here. Okay. He's here. Sit and have dinner with him. What? It won't be the first time. He always invites me. Who's inviting who for what? Welcome, sir. Ashley insists she would only sit to have dinner with you if you invite her to dinner. Ashley? We've eaten countless times together, right? Yes, sir, but you always invite me for dinner. Okay, Ashley. Yeah, could you... Um, have dinner with me, please. Yes, sir. I ah, see. So you wouldn't want to invite you to dinner. That's it. What's going on? Okay, sir. Well, okay. First of all, I have to apologize to you. My last meeting was unnecessarily long. It's fine, sir. All right. So what are we having for dinner? Uh, oh, Eva. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Your coffee. Okay. Morning. Why did you make me coffee? You know I like to make my own coffee. Yes, but I just needed an excuse to talk to my brother. <laughs> Seeing as you had a wonderful date yesterday. Look, uh, Bianca, you're disturbing me. Wait, 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 wait. wait. You, you like her, right? You like her! You are disturbing me and you're making me to think about things I wouldn't think about in the first place. Okay. Okay, but maybe you should actually think about these things, you know? Nothing. You know what I mean? Do you, do, you even, do you even care if I'm happy? Are you thinking about my happiness or you just want to get mom and dad off your back, that's all? Come on, why would I do that? I mean, you know how much I enjoy mommy and daddy calling me to talk about my brother. Yeah, right. <laughs> but you really need to consider. Getting married or settling down might be of great benefit to you. Settling down with whom? My secretary? Or my, my personal assistant? Mm -hmm. Since you made a big deal of their blue dresses, I took the time to sit across the table from them and have a conversation with them. Picturing myself being in a relationship with them. And I don't feel a thing. Yes, nothing. Maybe you should spend some more time with them. You know, give it time. These things take time. Uh, yeah, I can. I can't do this, okay? I can't. What of Harmony? Yes, Harmony. You should consider Harmony. What about her? She likes you. I know she's always had her eyes on you. And I'm sure her family will be more than excited if the two of you ended up together. I have never thought about Harmony or looked at her in that way. She's like a sister, come on. <laughs> Maybe you should start looking at her in that way, don't you think? I'll set up a meeting. I would call her I, I, and maybe you guys can have dinner. <gasps> I can do that. Thinking about <laughs> I can already start imagining what I will prepare for dinner. Ah. Guess who is calling? Who's that? Dad. I am unavailable. I'm not here. You're here. In fact, I'm going to give you give you the phone. You must talk to him today. Good morning, sir. Daddy. <laughs> yeah. I'm fine. Thank you, daddy. How are you? Yes, sir. Um, he's, he's going to be back in two weeks. 
I miss him, but I'm not so bored. <laughs> yes, daddy. Hanks. Yeah, Hanks is fine. I saw him a while ago. Oh, yeah, he mentioned that he had to travel. He was out of town and then now he's back. He's very busy. So that's probably why he hasn't picked your call. Yes, daddy. No, daddy. F the funny thing is I actually met him um, a while ago and he introduced me to this really lovely lady. Like they look so good together. I'm, I'm sure wedding bells are around the corner. You won't be disappointed, Daddy. Yes. Okay. No, Daddy, just just calm down. What did you say, Daddy? Uncle Ben. No, Daddy, I'm sure that is... He, he doesn't have to come around. It's not that deep. Daddy. Okay, sir. Yes, sir. What of mommy? Is she around? All right, thank you. Bye, sir. You see now. So what's that lie about me introducing a girl to you? That's the least thing you should be worried about right now. Uncle Ben is on his way. He's coming to your house. Meaning? Meaning you should have picked mommy and daddy's call like yesterday. Look, I am just tired of having to talk about the same thing over and over. I'm tired. No problem. Uncle Ben is coming here and he's going to have that conversation with you over and over again until you get it. Okay, I'm, I'm buying a ticket out of this country today. And how long are you going to keep running for? You can't run away from this thing. It has to happen. You need to settle down. Look, I'm stressed out. I just can't do this, okay? I can't do it. Wait, 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 wait. I have an idea, okay? So we'll talk to Harmony. And then let's just hope that for your sake, the both of you have chemistry. And Uncle Ben buys into the chemistry and he'll probably go and tell Mommy and Daddy that, you know, you have a woman and then you're going to settle down. Yeah. Unbelievable. So now I'm stuck with trying to make things work with Harmony. You should thank me. Have a good day. I'm off. You know, you're brilliant, you're smart, and you have my back. <sighs> That's what I get for lying and covering up for you. She's here. Please be ready, she's here. Hi, Aling. Hi. <coughs> Thank so you for having you. me. Good to see you too. <sighs> I mean, this is the first time I'm having to wear makeup since my dad relapsed, so. I'm so sorry. Thank you. It's okay. Have a seat. Okay. This looks amazing. I'm glad you like it. Hanks will be joining you shortly. And you? Me? <laughs> I'm, I'm actually not hungry. In fact, Hanks really wanted you here. And he was the one who asked me to invite you. Okay. Thank you. Um, Hanks. Okay. <laughs> She's here. Okay, I'm hearing her voice. Hi. Hello, Harmony. Hi. Come here. Good okay. to have you around. Thank you for having me. Pleasure. My pleasure. Okay. Let me serve the food. Did you make the food? No, I didn't. My sister did. Okay, so I can see it's safe. Can see what? It's safe for me to eat. It's safe for you to eat. Yeah, because she didn't make it. Alright. I won't comment on that. Thank you. Is that okay? One more. Yeah, thank you. You want more? No, no, no. Okay. I'm good. I'm good. Sister is a good cook. I like some people. She's not better than me, but she's a what? good cook. Well, 
if you say so. <laughs> Ask her, I actually taught her how to cook. Hmm. Hope it's not too big. No, it's fine. Tastes good too. Okay. So. Uh, let me. Why? Just asking to help you. It's okay. It's fine. Okay. <clears throat> Hanks, can I tell you my biggest fear? No honesty. Tell me. Poverty. Poverty? Mm -hmm. I don't get it. I don't follow you. My mother and I were used to a certain lifestyle. I mean, people think that it's extravagant, but we don't say that we, as long as we're good, we're fine. And I've been thinking if anything should happen to my dad right now, what's going to happen to us in a few years? <laughs> what's funny? Why are you laughing? I'm not laughing in that sense. I mean, your dad has insane amount of investments that should keep you all rich for the rest of your life. So you don't have anything to worry about once you can maintain what he's invested in. You of all people know my brothers. The moment anything happens to that man, everything is gone. They're going to sell everything. So what about you? Huh? Yeah, what about you? Your dad has set you up so that you can take care of the family, keep the family rich forever. Your mom, if she wants, she can always get a position in the company. My mom? Yeah. So who's going to be sitting pretty when my mom is working? <clears throat> then you need to step up. Hanks, I don't think I can show that everything my dad has done. I don't, I don't think I'm strong enough for that. Harmony, I will help you. I will support you. I'll be there for you. In fact, your dad is not dead yet. The man is still alive, so let's stop talking like he's dead. Can I have your glass, please? Okay. Yeah, thank you. Let's eat, let's drink, and let's pray for your father. Okay, we'll do that. Right? Mm-hmm. Here's it. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Can I have your meat? Mm? Can I have your meat? You don't have my meat. I knew you wouldn't give me that gist, so I had to come to your room to get it. Just go back to your room. We'll talk about it tomorrow. Just go back to your room, please. Tomorrow? Yes, tomorrow. Uncle Ben will be here tomorrow evening. What? <laughs> Already? You seem to have forgotten how your dad is, right? You know when he wants something done, he gets it done immediately. And as a stand, it seems like he has a friend's daughter that he wants to introduce to you. He should not even try it. If he tries it, I will not talk to him again. <laughs> no, I'm serious. I will not talk to him again. Just calm down, okay? We need to fix this Uncle Ben's situation. He's going to be here tomorrow and we both know he's coming to investigate things for dad. And I've told a lot of white lies for you. I really don't want to look like a bad person. So please, just tell me. Who are we presenting? Is it Harmony? Or, I don't know, which of them? Because we have to present someone. Look, the thing about this, your plan is that this person, whoever they are, they will have to sit and talk to Uncle Ben. Have you thought about it? Oh my goodness. I actually forgot about that. Yeah, I'm sure you didn't think about it. So, which of them is good for this? None. What do you mean by none? You're not helping here. I'm just being honest. Seriously, I'm being sincere here. None of them, none of them will be good for it. I don't like the idea of having to date or pretend to be dating somebody in my office. 
In my office, I like it to be professional. I don't like the awkwardness. I don't like the whole discomfort of being around somebody or pretending. No. And I also don't want to be accused of sexual harassment. I am the boss. Okay. How about um, Harmony? You don't have a work relationship with her yet. I mean, she hasn't started doing things for her dad. Harmony is not the kind of woman for this. She's not, she doesn't have that, 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 that strength. You know, she's, she's just not right for this. Before you know it, she will tell her family and uh, then I will have to be forced to, to take this serious. And if I don't... Which we know you won't. Then it makes the whole thing awkward, relationship awkward with the family, and it's going to affect our business, the company. Oh, gosh. She's going to hate me for this. Who? Kemi. Who, Kemi? David's ex? Yeah, the thing is, she's not really David's ex, okay? David was in a situation like yours, and... Um, he agreed or she agreed to be with him for a year no i don't believe you i don't believe you why don't you believe me but i saw the two people kiss it was all part of their agreement okay they agreed to kiss in public just to make you know family believe that they're in a relationship besides david did something really nice for her and she felt like she owed him that favor so she was just covering up Kemi is no. mature. She knows how to do, you know, she knows how to put her emotions under control. She's the best person for the job. I'm probably going to speak with her tomorrow and let's hope for your sake that she agrees. And if she doesn't agree, you have to bring a girl home from, you know, from work. I don't know. Find somebody and present because I'm not going to look bad. I, I, can't, I can't do anything with Davis X or whatever it is. Find a solution, okay? Since you've become the mouthpiece of your parents. I thought I'd never fall in love again. Kimmy. I never thought it would be you. You're all I've been searching for. I see me inside your eyes. I see it in your smile. Hi. Hey, I'm so, so sorry. I'm sorry I kept you waiting. It's fine. That's okay. How are you? I'm well. I hope that we can finally sell this business out. Um, I know that Helen's situation has stalled it for a bit. Why would you think so? Well, Helen is your closest friend and I have an issue with her. So automatically you have an issue with me, I think. No, I don't rule like that. I mean, my friends' enemies are not necessarily my enemies. Um, speaking of which, you both aren't enemies. Um, I spoke with Helen, and she was actually surprised as to some of the details I shared. And she's actually sorry, and she'll most likely reach out to you soon. But you know how Helen is. She's taking her time. Well, truth is, I really can't be bothered. I'm not, I'm not waiting for her call. It's okay. That's fair enough, I understand. So how are you? How's your mom? She's okay, I guess. You guess? I know how close you are. What's wrong? I did something that disappointed her and so she went home. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Care to share? No, no. I honestly don't want to talk about it. Okay, that's fine. If you don't want to share, I won't insist, but... um. Helen and the business is not the reason I called for this meeting. As you know, my husband is meant to be our sponsor. Why is he changing his mind? No, no, no. He's not changing his mind. He's just currently out of town. But as soon as he comes back, we'll hit the ground running. Oh, okay. So why am I here then? Yes. Um, my... I need your help. Okay, my brother lost his fiance, and since then he's not been able to, you know, have a relationship with any woman. He might be nice and sweet and pay compliments, but at the end of the day, nothing ever comes out of it. Oh. And he's not been able to move on. 
Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry about your brother's fiance. I met your brother. I actually went over to his place with David and he was a very nice person. Yes, Hanks is sweet and nice, but he's the first and only son of a local king who's insisting he gets married or he would find a wife for him. Wait, your father is a king? Yes. Which means you're a princess? Yes. Wow, interesting. <laughs> yeah, but the challenge is this whole situation is putting Hanks under so much pressure and I'm also under pressure because I'm caught in the crossfire. I've been trying to, you know, buy him time and I really don't want to look bad. I need you to be his pretend girlfriend. Fiance, actually. Look, my uncle is coming over tonight and he needs to see a woman around. If not, he's going to push the agenda for, you know, an arranged marriage. And he's my father's right hand man. Whatever he says, my father would do. Please, Kemi. Please. You are being very disrespectful. The fact that you know my story does not mean you get to do this. I, I'm sorry, I need no disrespect. I just need your help. So I am. Yep, um, you were saying? So I was wondering if I should make copies for everyone. Yeah, you should. You should. Okay, sir. Hello. I know everyone thinks that it's hard to be. Yes, I understand, Uncle. Yeah, but what I'm saying is that you're the only person that my father listens to. So I was just thinking that maybe you could talk to him and then. Yes, you don't have to come exactly. He's, he's, he's listening to me, okay? He's actually seen someone. And in a few weeks or months, maybe, they might just settle down. There's really no need for you to come. It's... <sighs> yes, the lady I spoke about, they're still seeing each other. I'll find out if they are serious and then I'll have feedback for you. Okay. Okay. Fine. If, if you insist, there's no problem, sir. It's mm. uncle. He missed his flight. And I'm trying to make him see reason that maybe that's a sign that he doesn't have to come. But he's not buying it. He's coming. He says he can't disobey that. Then let him come. It's fine, let him come. He, he can come anytime he wants. The house is here, he's welcome. What's that supposed to mean? Bianca, I looked at my secretary and my personal assistant in a way I've never looked at them before. And the unfortunate thing is that they caught me looking at them. I just can't do this anymore. I'm not comfortable with it. How is it possible that they caught you looking at them? What kind of guy are you now? Don't you have game? Well, I had to leave the office as soon as I could. I just can't do this, man. Come on. Hey, God. This shows that you're really out of touch. Like you've lost it. <laughs> so, you're giving up. What do you want me to do? Should I kill myself because I don't have a woman in this house? Okay, fine. Just begin to imagine your mother in this house with the lady or wife or whoever it is she brings because I don't know where... She's going to find her, but you know your parents. And that's why I'm trying to help you here. I'm trying to buy you time so you can find a woman that you actually love. A woman you can spend the rest of your life with, but no. Help me find that person. Because I'm tired. This whole thing with my secretary, my personal assistant. I can't do it. Please. I'm trying. I spoke with Kemi and she walked out on me. Oh, fine. Brilliant. That means we have nothing. And maybe you should speak with her yourself. Speak with her? What am I going to tell her? 
<laughs> Why am I going to convince her to do something like this? Use your masculine charm. What does that even mean? Look. But why must it even be Kimmy? Because she's the only one I know that has experience. She's done this before. And now she doesn't want to do it. So find somebody else. Really? That's my job, right? Why can't they just leave me? <laughs> Babe, I'm telling you, like when I looked up, I just saw him staring at me. Then I looked away, like all these shy teenage guys. <laughs> I was rising so hard to hide my excitement. You know, come on, get out. Am I the first to fall for my boss? I can't wait to see him. I swear, I can't. I beg, babe, let me pack my things. <laughs> so, babe, as I looked up to talk to him today, he was already staring at me. <laughs> he looked away and apologized. Babe, do you know how long I've yearned for this moment just for him to look at me the way he did today? Oh, babe, remember that time he called now that I told you I wanted to go and buy a car and fry plantain? I used the opportunity to wear that dress I wanted to wear that time, you know, like the one, that one I bought. And uh -huh. so I wanted to enter his eye. Do you understand? Uh -huh. So I want him to look at me beyond this PA assistant thing. And I'm glad it's finally happening. <laughs> oh, I can't imagine. Like, I'm so happy. <laughs> okay. All right. Look, I think we should just leave. We don't have to do this. Leave. We're already here. There's no need to leave. We'll just wait. We'll find out if she's okay. close. Oh. Hi, Kemi. Please sit. What do you want? Kimmy. Please sit. Sit, sit down. Kemi, please. Hi. Kemi. Kemi, um, meet my brother, Hanks. Hanks, Kemi, my friend. I know your brother. I've met him before. What do you guys want? Okay, so I was hoping you could play his stand in fiancé only for a few days. Like a 12 month standing fiance type of thing. Right? God forbid, God forbid. I, I'm just talking about a few days, that's all. Wait, what's God forbid? Don't I qualify to be with you for a year? No, no, that, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that I don't think I can pretend for a whole year. And why pretend? What's wrong with you? Can't you get a girlfriend? Uh, actually, it's a fiance that I'm supposed to have. And uh, I don't want to just engage a girl because. Uh, you know, just for what is happening right now. So you can just have an agreement with whoever you're with. I'm sure any girl that's with you should be able to understand your situation. I don't have a woman with me right now. Exactly. Then there's absolutely something wrong with you. Do you have a boyfriend? Um, hold on, Hanks, please. No, 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 no. Uh, just answer me. Do you have a boyfriend? No. Okay. What's wrong with you? Something wrong with you, you don't have a boyfriend. Wait. You know what? I'm not supposed to be here in the first place. It's the wrong idea. Hey, wait. I'll take care. Wait. I'll meet you at home. Hugs! Uh, if you're coming with me, you better come now. I'm, I'm so sorry for his behavior. I do apologize, but please. Look, I would offer you money, but that would be totally disrespectful. But if there's anything you want, just anything, please tell me. I'll go, I'll do it, okay? But please, I really need you as my friend. Please help me. Sorry, I can't help you. I know no one wants to stay alone. I'm just trying to be careful. But one thing is for sure. No one stays alone forever. Don't you know that everyone has a need to be careful? Oh, be careful. Because love is not a forced. You two, Seth, you need to learn to calm down. Calm, calm down. down. How do you expect me to calm down? How could she say a thing like that to me? Huh? Why would she say something is wrong with me? Because I don't have a woman in my life? Like she has a man in her life? Look, we still need her. Whatever it is, you need to calm down. I don't need her. 
She's lonely. She's cold. She's sad. I don't need her. In fact, I will call her money. You need to calm down. I will call her money. Thank God we have that option. If not, I don't know how you find somebody. Nonsense. We need to talk. Okay. I was thinking maybe you should travel for, say, two weeks. I'll tell Uncle it was a business trip and it wasn't planned. You had to attend to something important. Hmm. Hmm. And you think they won't do the same thing when I get back? Then you don't know your parents. I'm just saying we should buy time with... I think it's Harmony. Let me get her. surprised to see you. I'm shocked too, but I may need your help. And so maybe I can do this. Well, that's if your brother still wants. What do you need? I did tell you about the issue I have with my mom. Yeah, you mentioned. Um, I disappointed her. So, a few months ago, I met this guy who I was so much in love with and so badly wanted the relationship to work out. I went in blindly and soon after he disappeared, only for me to find out after that he was actually married. Wait, what? Yeah, but that's not even the bad story. Two weeks after that, I found out I was pregnant. You mean you're pregnant right now? Yes, five weeks pregnant and it's, it's not been an easy pregnancy. There's so much pain. I'm so sorry to hear this, but you know this changes everything. I need to tell Hanks. But he only asked for a few days. He doesn't have to speak about the pregnancy. I know, but he needs to be aware. I need to tell him, and I don't know if he'll like it. But I'll speak with him. What would you want in return? Truthfully, I, I want to relocate. I want to, I want to go and settle probably in Kenya, Ghana, anywhere but here. Why do you want to do that? Why do you want to leave all of this behind you? Like just. I want to start afresh have my baby and raise him or her. You do realize that having a baby out of wedlock is not the end of the world. Like, there's still so much you can do and I'm so sure that you'll find someone who will love the hell out of you. Trust me, I don't think I have that kind of luck. And honestly, I'm not even expecting that to happen for me. <sighs> my entire life, I've had nothing but heartbreaks. Um, I can't guarantee anything, but I'll speak with Hanks and I'll let you know what he says. Okay, thank you. Don't worry, everything is going to be fine. Thank you. Let me get you something to drink. Just photocopy the documents and then you put them on my desk, okay? When I get to the office, I'll take a look at them. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. Alright, bye. Hey. And 
any headway? Yes, it's just, um, there's a little complication. Complication? Mm -hmm. What is it? She's pregnant. Pregnant? Yes. I'm not claiming that. She's not asking you to claim it. All right, but what about a man? He knocked her up and disappeared. Okay. <laughs> right now I'm not comfortable with the whole thing. I know, but look, you don't have to speak about the pregnancy. You don't have to talk about it. It's just for a few days. And all she's asking for is that she's able to leave and travel to some African country. Oh, so she's running because of the pregnancy? She's just... Things have been a little difficult for her. She's been through a lot. Of all my friends, she's doing the least right now. And the moment the pregnancy starts to show, she's going to feel a little embarrassed. So... But everybody's timing is different. I mean, she doesn't have to run. I agree. But this is what she wants. Are you in or out? I'm still not comfortable with the whole arrangement. I mean, the pregnancy thing right now is just complete. Uh, look, I think it's uh, harmony. Let me go and get her. Just uh, take her to your room. When I'm done talking to Harmony, I will we'll talk. Okay? Thank you for coming on the show. No, it's good. Can I can I get you some? No, 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 I'm good. You okay? Yeah. All right. So, you said you wanted to see me. Yeah. Yes. I, look, uh, how many? I uh, I really don't know how to say this, but I say it. What? I um. I actually, I, I want you to um, resume at the company as the CEO. What? Yes, I want you to come around and just take over your father's seat, you know? Hanks, we talked about this. I thought you had something personal to tell me. Uh, really? Yes. I mean, I know I'm going to resume as a CEO and all that, but there's still so much I need to learn about that business. I will teach you. That is not the point. The point is you sounded like you had something personal to tell me. No. Like there's... I don't know how I sounded, but uh, I just uh, wanted us to talk about you, you know, resume immediately. I just come around and take over and just be at the company, you know? I can't. Why not? Because I'm not ready. Plus, you're doing an awesome job being the empty, so why can't you continue? Uh, uh, you know what? It's fine. This is on me. I'm, I assume too much. I keep assuming stuff, and then this is not what I wanted to hear, so I'll just leave you. No, 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 no. It's okay. It's fine. It's, it's okay. No problem. Just take care. Is she gone? She's gone. I mean, I couldn't tell her. I mean, even if she agrees, her family will be heartbroken if they find out and I just can't risk it. That's fine. Um, please, uh, Kimmy, can you please not mention your pregnancy to my, my uncle? Of course. All right, um, Bianca, please get a ring for Kimmy. An engagement ring. Okay. I'll talk to you when I get to the office. Oh, all right, that's fine. All right, okay. See you. Okay. Have a nice day. Thank you. Oh, man. What's wrong? Are you okay? Okay. I just can't believe I'm doing this again. Don't worry. Everything is going to be fine. My uncle would be. On his way, I think we need to get going. Um, you also need to tell me everything there is to know about your brother. 
Sure, I'll tell you everything. Okay. What a beautiful place Aunt has here. Yes, sir. <laughs> ah. Wow. So beautiful. Yes, sir. Welcome. Oh, You're welcome. My welcome. beautiful princess. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine. Good to see you. How was your flight? You delayed the flight. You. How was? Oh, three minutes. Oh. Yes, um, Uncle, this is Hank's fiance. Oh, my wife, come here. <laughs> You are such a beautiful woman. I don't know why your aunt is hiding you from everyone. <laughs> you know how Hank is, Uncle. Um, he likes to do things when he's ready. Just like your father. Yes. See, we brought him <laughs> down for you people here. Oh, thank you. Thank, thank you, you very sir. much, sir. You know, yam is your husband's favorite food. Yes, I know, and he likes it with fish. Oh, you know him yeah. very, very well. I think you should prepare some for us tonight. Your mother-in-law has packed a lot of dry fish in that bag. Okay, <laughs> I won't. <laughs> so this is where you people are staying? Yes. yes. This is okay, good. Uncle, let me take you to your room. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Stop calling me that. No, no, you run or hide. That is who you are. <laughs> Uncle Ben, good to see you. Yeah, thank you. Wow. I have seen your beautiful woman. She's already cooking. Oh, come on, Uncle Ben. And she smelled the aroma. I have missed you. I have made your loud laugh. <laughs> okay, you know what? Let me go and change my clothes and I'll be right out, okay? Yes. I want to get ready for food too. <laughs> okay, my food is to be ready, right? <laughs> okay, I'll be right out. <laughs> Oh shit, um, I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, I, I couldn't look because Uncle was watching. Oh, this is fine, I mean, this is supposed to be your room, right? Do you want anything? Yeah, I'm serving dinner and I was just wondering, what should we call ourselves? I mean, just in case there's a need for that. Well, pet names are supposed to be spontaneous, right? What do you think? Well, I like sweetheart, uh, baby. Anyone is fine for me. 
Okay. Sweetheart. Okay. Uh, did you have to cook? Who made you to cook? I guess you're just testing me. But don't worry, you'll be proud when you come for dinner. See you at dinner. Food is sweet. Uh -uh. <laughs> Uncle, you, you haven't even finished your food. I am telling you, my wife here yeah, is a good cook. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Did I make you proud? Proud. Very proud. <laughs> Love is beautiful. <laughs> so cool. I think we need to get some more food for Uncle. Oh yeah. Okay. Excuse us. Ah, bring more. Bring more. Get you more. <laughs> Glad you enjoyed it. Ah, this is delicious. <laughs> mm. You're so good at this. Thank you. I don't know how I got so comfortable living a lie. Don't overthink it. You're committed to the character, and that's what's important. Well done. So, what are we going to do about Helen? Helen, don't worry about her. This is only for a few days, two or three days, and Ongo is gone. Thank you. Thank you for doing this. That's all your father wants. Uncle, I understand you. And I promise you I'm not insensitive to the tradition of our people. Um, the thing is, I also know that uh, at my age I should be married and ready to succeed my father. Even though I don't care about all those things, you know, traditional stuff. When we get to that bridge, we will cross it. But uncle, my anger with my father is that he's also so insensitive. I lost my girlfriend, somebody I loved dearly. Just a few weeks after that, he started to pester me to get another woman. He even went as far as threatening me what he would not give me if I don't. So I had to walk away from him and everything else. I am very sorry that he didn't give you time. But that happened some years ago. It is now appearing as if you are single just to punish your father. It's not years ago. It's just a little over two years, uncle. Okay, I am glad that uh, you have moved on to this beautiful lady. It is time to introduce her to your father. I will, but I just don't want to rush it. I will I'll take my time, make sure of what I'm doing. I'm okay, sure. okay. Take your time, but please don't keep us waiting for too long. And your father will like to meet your woman. And please, start picking their cause. Make them happy. They are not happy that you are hungry to the extent you are ignoring them. All right. I will. Okay. I'll pick their calls. Thank you. All right. Uncle, I'm tired. I have to retire uh, for the night. And, uh, you know, tomorrow is an early start for me. So let me go to bed, okay? Okay. All right. Please. You enjoy the rest of the night. My friends. Okay. <laughs> Good night. Thank you very much. Good night. <laughs> Good evening, sir. Oh, yes, sir. I just finished speaking with Anx now. Yes, sir, they are all doing well. In fact, I have met the young woman he wants to marry. Yes, sir. He knows he has to introduce her to you as soon as possible. Oh, no, sir. I'm not coming back in two days. There are still one or two things I want to look into. I'll be back in like two weeks. Yes, sir. 
Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Good night, sir. <laughs> I thought I would never fall in love again. I never thought it would be you. It's our first time. It's our first time. Really? Single and married. Oh. Uncle. Hello. Thank you. Good evening. I'm I'm sorry, I forgot my key. Oh, not a problem. Thank you so much. Oh. Hi baby. How are you? Okay. Uh, I will yeah. go inside. <laughs> I can see you are being careful holding your woman in front of me. She's yours, not mine. See, I'll be here for the next two weeks. If you want to kiss her, better kiss her. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uncle. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, but I just want to go and change yeah. my clothes and come back out. Bye. All right. <laughs> City, what's up? You okay. Right. Oh, Uncle, you're here for two weeks. I thought I'd never fall in love again. I never thought it would be you. You're all I've been searching for. I see me inside your eyes. I see it in your smile. You're all I. That house was too awkward. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's okay. It's not your fault. We didn't discuss it. I should have just walked in right after greeting. No, you did nothing wrong. I mean, you did what you were supposed to do. In fact, my uncle is already making you a joke of it. What is it? What is it? What is it? Okay. What's wrong? The pain again. What pain? It's not been an easy pregnancy. Have you seen a doctor? No, well, my mom had a difficult pregnancy, so I think it's hereditary. No, that that's not good enough. <laughs> it's okay. I'll take her to the hospital tomorrow. But right now, the two of you need to get acquainted. You need to get to know each other. I need to see that bond. Because that hug I witnessed was really awkward. Yeah, we're already talking about it. I mean, um, Uncle Ben is going to be around for two weeks, so we Wait, have to do better. What? Yeah, he just said it. It's going to be around for two weeks. Wow. Wow. Well, but I think, uh, should I help you lie down? Can I just let me move these things now? It's fine. I'll take her to the doctor tomorrow. But please just spend some time with her, get to know her. You two get to know yourselves. If not, the next two weeks will be really difficult and we need it to go smooth. Don't worry. I'll be fine. The pain will subside. Yeah, but uh, I'm still insist that you see your doctor. In the meantime, uh, should I get you something like water or so? Yes, please, water. Okay. Let me get on with her. How is she? What happened? Um, she... She's fine. Okay? She had an ectopic pregnancy and oh the doctor had to conduct an emergency operation on her. That's serious? Yes, it was a high-risk one. We're lucky to still have her here. Here? Yeah. I'm so glad she's fine. Oh. Me too. So what is she going to do now? 
hopefully she won't see any reason to leave the country anymore, so... Where is she? Uh, she still at the hospital? No, no, no. She's at home now. She's resting. So we'll see you after work? Yeah, sure. I'll see you after work. Um, say uh, sorry to her for me, okay? Sure. I'll be, I'll be home soon. Okay. See you. All right. Drive safely. I will. I thought I'd never fall in love again. I never thought it would be you. You're all I've been searching for. I see me inside your eyes. I see it in your smile. You're all I want. Hey. How are you? Fine. Um. I'm just really embarrassed that I'm only finding out now about this ectopic pregnancy. Oh, come on. Don't be embarrassed. It's okay. How do you feel? I'm fine, actually. Just really tired. That's all. It's good. I'm sorry. Thank you. Uh, why is my uncle sending me a message? I'll be right back. Okay. Um. I thought I'd never fall in love again. I never thought it would be you. You're all I've been searching for. I see me inside your eyes. I see it in your smile. You're all I. Wakey, wakey, get up. I made breakfast for you. Wait, for me? Yeah, for you. All right. Well, thank you, but you didn't really have to. Oh, come on. It's the least I can do. Um, what, you want me to feed you? <laughs> no, I'm just surprised, but thank you. This is, this is beautiful. Thank you. Okay, so uh, would you just go ahead and... Enjoy the food. But I still believe it's better sure than sorry. I know no one wants to stay alone. I'm just trying to be careful. But one thing is for sure, no one stays alone forever. Don't you know that everyone has a need to be careful? Oh, be careful because love is not a forced feeling. It's not a forced feeling. I like to do things right. Hopefully, I'll be. I'll be. Right. Okay. Okay, let me hold on. My mom wants to speak with you. Oh, okay. Hello, Mom. Yes, I'm fine. I'm much better now. Thank you. Thank you so much for asking. Okay, Mom. All right. Bye. Hello, Mommy. Yes. Hi. I love you. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> She really likes you. Until she discovers the truth. Um, let's go say goodbye to Uncle. He's about to leave. I guess the game is over. I'm sorry. Let's go. My wife, it is unfortunate that sickness is not allowed me to eat a lot of your food. I hope we are better now. Okay. When I bring you to the family, I will see you again. 
Hey, Uncle. <laughs> you already your own things are in the car already. Oh, <laughs> if you not take me from here. <laughs> I will not go. You people, you have taken good care of me here. Aww. But please, see, take good care of your wife. I will. Okay, I will. I love two of you together. Okay. Okay. Uncle, let's get going. So you don't your flight. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Come on, sir. Ah, come on, Ash. Oh, this. You said you were going to pick up a dry king clothes yesterday, but they called me that you didn't come, so I had to bring it. Thank you, Ashley. I appreciate. Oh. Um, I will. Take them inside. Okay, darling. Um, Ashley, uh, you go ahead to the office. I will be right behind you, okay? I have to take my uncle to the bus stop, okay? Thank you, sir. All right, let's go. I thought I'd never fall in love again. I never thought it would be you. You're all I've been searching for. I see me inside. Hey. Hi. They should do all this in David's house. Um, I have to go to the kitchen. Hey, the I'm asking you. They should do all this. Take care of his apartment like you do in my own house. Cook for him. Look after him with care like you do to me. Excuse me. I just want to know, Kimmy. Welcome, sir. Thank you. Um, what are you holding? Um, the budget asked me to prepare. All right, yeah, bring it. Bring it, let me just uh, sign it. Uh, Everything is good, right? Yes, Are you okay? Yes, sir. Are you sure? Yes, sir. Okay, uh, give this to Lillian for me. Okay, sir. So, sir, um, when I'm done running the errands, should I wait here or meet you at home? No, just, just go home. Um, I'll see you. Okay? Yes, sir. All right. <sighs> what do we have for today? I can't talk right now, big. I'm just dazed. See, I'm the only one remaining in the office. I can't even move from where I am right now. I don't even know how my heart is doing me. I don't know. My boss has a fiancé. Yes! His PA told me a while ago, Jerry. Do you know, I was beginning to think that something was going to happen. I wanted to be with him like, it was as if my life revolved around him. I, I imagined it. I was waiting for him to ask me out, babes. And now, I don't even know what to do. I'm serious. Ah. See, I beg, I beg, I beg. I'll, I'll talk to you when I get home. You're not even helping matters. I beg, get out. Hi! Why are you asking me if he ever asked me out? Of course he didn't. Babe, the way he was staring at me, I felt like there was a connection. But now I know why he always pick up his dry clean clothes. He doesn't even let me join him in, in, in his car. He doesn't even send me home again to pick up stuff from his house. Well, I'm not going to be the first girl that fell for my boss. My boss is the sweetest and charming person ever. Well, it's best not to assume anything when he has not even said anything. 
Babe, I'll talk to you later, okay? I just need to focus and get back to work. All right now, bye. I thought I'd never fall in love again. I never thought it would be you. You're all I've been searching for. I see me. What are you doing? I have to go. Your uncle is gone now. Your mother has my number. All I have to do is just answer her call wherever I'm at and just pretend this is still happening until you find somebody. What? Is it because of the question I asked this morning? There's no need for me to be here. Thanks. Kimmy, you wake up with me every morning for the past two weeks. You will listen to me talk about my work till we both fall asleep. You cook for me. You even not my time. And then you just wake up and go like that. I was just doing what I agreed to do. The reason I asked you that question was because I wanted to know the difference. I wanted to understand what is different. What is different between what happened with you and David and what is happening to the both of us? Why on earth would you want to know that? Because I can't understand why David would let a, a woman like you go. I didn't look at David the way I look at you. I barely slept in his bed or cooked for him in the one year of us together. The only thing I had to do was just show up when people needed to see us together. Why didn't you do the same with me? Hanks, the circumstances are different. David didn't nurse me when I was recovering from an ectopic pregnancy. There's nothing left for me to do here anymore. I'm not pregnant anymore. There's no need for me to leave the country. I don't want anything from you. Stay. Wait, what? Please, stay. I like you here. This isn't real, you know that, right? Do you like me? That's another point. Do you? Like me, Kimmy. Yes, please. I, I asked you, do you like me? Yes or no? Do you like me? What does it matter? I came here for something and it's done. Plus, if the circumstances, if your situation was not different, you probably would have never spoken to me. If it wasn't for my situation, I probably would have spoken to no one. I never thought I would have been close to a woman like you. But I'm grateful for my situation. Because it brought us together. So I ask you again, Kimmy, do you like me? Yes. Then stay. I mean, we can go to your mother, talk to your mother. Tell her that you have finally found someone who badly wants you. You want me so badly and you never showed me. I don't know why I'm silly sometimes. I just like to do things right. But we can go to your house, you know, talk to your mom. And then we can come back here, yeah, home. And what sort of thing is that? Well, I think it's called a uh, gummy buddy. Uh, getting to know each other or uh, being partners show sure will regret this you were pretending to my uncle but you were not pretending to me I've seen you and I want you I just love how it feels every day I come home from work for the past two weeks I mean you're special you're you're sweet. You're easy to be around. You're beautiful. And you're s smart. I like it when the door opens and it's you. 
But isn't two weeks too short to... Fall in love? I'm in love with you already. You can take a year if you want. I'll wait. I'll take a year. This is the first time you're kissing me. Yeah, it's because Hans has finally found a woman he loves. <laughs> Come here. I never thought it would be you. You're all I've been searching for. I see me inside your eyes.